Hello, my name is Ainiu Wong. I'm a student at Clear Lake High School working with the Department of Material Science and Engineering at Texas A&M University. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the sanity check program that comes along with the main PED strain mapping program. First, click the Load File button, which will open your file explorer, and select the block file that you would load into the main program. Then, when you click the Filter and Analyze button, a new window will pop up displaying one of the diffraction patterns from the block file. On the left side is the original image, and on the right side is the same image with the filter applied for denoising, and it has all of the recognized diffraction spots marked with a red dot. The code for filtering and diffraction spot recognition are identical to those in the main PED stream mapping program, so you can use the sanity check to make sure that your file is processed correctly when you pass it through the main program. If you want to select a different diffraction pattern from the block file, or change the image filter, you can edit the code under the filter and analyze function. The values in this array right here correspond to the dimensions of the block file, so you can choose which diffraction pattern you want to use. Three different filters are available in this block. Gaussian, which is the default, non-local means, and Wiener. You can uncomment the one you want to use and comment out the others. And just replace the variable name here. Please reach out to Dr. Kelvin Chia's group if you have any questions about this program. 